we saw online that if you have aphids, you can put Vaseline at the base of your trees and the ants won't harvest the aphids up there. So today we are going to add Vaseline to the base of our pear trees and our apple trees. We'll let you know what happens. We're taking our white jade pineapple and we're cutting off all the little pups. So we've bought one and now we'll have five or six. Very exciting. All right, today is Sunday, April 10th, 2022. And here's what our garden looks like. I think this is week nine since we built the food forest. Um, we added a fig to the garden this week. This is a um, red finger lime. It'll go into the ground with all the other citrus along the Bougainvillea. Our grapefruit is setting up nicely. A lot of growth on, on the sweet potatoes. This bed has a back row of corn and then one in front of it a few weeks after that. These are all tomatoes. Not all tomatoes, but some tomatoes. Let's walk this way. This is the jujube tree. It flowered last week. Um, these are some beans, a squash, yeah, squash, eggplants, aloe. Along the fence we have our strawberries. That's a Persian lime, there's limes on it. More strawberries. This is another kind of lime strawberries are flowering. I saw the um, grasshoppers eating that. We have a new shipment of trees coming in tomorrow. These are going to be two Asian pears. We added a mango. This is a Namdok mango. He's really excited about that one. Here's another bed with peppers all in it. So there's peppers all around a basil plant. There's some eggplants in this row. And we got our peanuts for the squirrels. Here's our orange we grew from seed, surrounded more by some strawberries. Give me a nice ground cover. Our squash. Oh, look, a female's flower is finally coming. So the females have the fruit on it. And these males don't have a fruit on it. Our marigold is flowering. This is our sour orange. Lots of fruit coming. More strawberries. Damage from the grasshopper. This is a kumquat. We got this from an Asian tropical nursery this weekend. You just eat the whole thing. It's really strange. It was really good. Very good. We got our potatoes. These are beans. Looks like another squash. I think these are collards. Nope, okra. Our first time eating okra. This is a, a lychee. I think it's actually called a lawn gan. It's gonna go there. Here is our big trellis. All of these are tomatoes. Doing really good. And Pepper's eating peanuts she found from the squirrel.
I'm going to pause and go in the backyard. Okay, this is in the front yard. We've got our milkweed up this week. All of these are salads. Different kind of salad things. We have another bed with salad things. Like purple bok choy. It's going to be interesting. More kales. Lots of collards, chards. I think those are onions, cabbage, and potatoes. This bed went up this week. Just more random salad things. The sun is dropping fast. These are our pineapple. We bought one pineapple, broke it apart, got five. This is a blackberry. It's coming along nicely. Your zinnias that the squirrels are getting into. This is all cucumber. They're all different kinds of cucumber being supported by the rope up there. Lots of flowers coming. But they're all boy flowers. Green beans. Our blueberries are starting to ripen. He ate some already. That one will be ready tomorrow. We replaced the blackberry. There's another blackberry. The pumpkin officially is touching the ground. We hand pollinated the watermelon. Hopefully it took. This cherry is growing like crazy. More strawberries, the ground cover. Surrounded by blueberry bushes, pomegranate, more pomegranate, blueberries. We picked up this blueberry, it's a pink lemonade. That'll be exciting. Got strawberries. There's our kiwi, doing good. The peach woke up doing good. This peach still has its peaches on it. Very exciting. Alright, let's go into the garden. Oh, here's the goji berry too. It's flowering. It flowers a lot. Oh, you can even see goji berries. Back there. All right. Different entrance for you this time. This is our orange tree, our Valencia orange. We um, put stakes in it to prune it so that it goes up. We're training it so that we can sit at our bench and just eat the straw, um, the oranges overhead. Um, this is a pink powder puff. It got cut this week a lot. This is our Jamaican cherry, or also called a strawberry tree, because the flowers look like strawberries. It is very prolific, it flowers all the time. Can't find any fruit. Here's one. So we're keeping our eye on it. sun is setting so fast. Okay. 
There's the grape sherbet. Still has flowers on it. We planted another banana tree. And he's working on a compost pile thing. Okay, so that's the garden. This is the apples and pears and plums. We're adding a, a plum there to go with our AU Rosa. No, this is Byron Gold, AU Rosa. And at that pot, we're going to put um, a Pluot. So I'm very excited about that. Plums are still doing good. There's one. I think there's four on this tree. And this one has a whole bunch still. These are our gooseberries. That's a yellow one. There's a red one. This is our tropic sweet apple. Another blackberry. A pear. These are purple green beans and some kale. The green beans are taking over. The dragon tongue. We've been harvesting these a lot. They're very prolific. But we just harvested already more. This is another pear. We're having aphid problems, so today we put um, Vaseline at the base of it. Tomato. These are more peppers. different things going on. Iron Shriner, Apple. That has onions and potatoes in it with green beans in the back. Who would have thought potatoes flowered? Very interesting. And these flowers have been on there for days. They seem to go to sleep at night, and then they wake back up in the morning. This is the Anna apple. It woke up. Cassia's flowering. This is a Loganberry. Curious Pepper. And this is the Dorset Golden. flowering. Doesn't want to focus. It's too dark, I guess. Nope, doesn't want to focus. Might have to call it soon. All right, and there is another cucumber loaded with flowers. All right, can't wait to see what next week brings. Have a good day.